Hello, I'm Pat Scroy, president of Scroy Financial, along with our director of research, Vinny Scarcella. Hey, Vinny, how are you doing? I'm doing good. The two of us are here today to uh, address many of your concerns and talk about as we just finished the worst month we've seen in our lifetime, combined with our statements starting to come in the mailbox, which are always tough to open. I get it firsthand. So we want to kind of just talk about first and foremost, some interesting statistics, because for me, the number one question is, what do I do? Should I stay in the market? Should I get out of the market? And the, the, the chart we like the best with all the research we do, I'll let Vinny go into is, is, is go ahead. It's, I think it's awesome. Yeah, so the chart um, that, that we're going to be looking at here shortly is uh, from Goldman Sachs Asset Management. Um, if you kind of look at where valuations were um, as of March 31st, it's actually a really, really attractive entry point right now. Um, a lot of investors, obviously, when the market's going down, when it seems to be in a free fall, they worry about, will I have enough um, assets when I do um, actually retire? Um, so it's kind of easy to forget about, hey, if you have two, three years, you're still in a very, very good spot. Um, obviously, um, moving forward from looking at the chart, um, the average cumulative forward return in two years is around 40% for the S&P 500. Um, and then also the frequency of positive returns in that same time frame or in that two years is around 100%. Um, so looking at the data, um, historically speaking, obviously this could be a very, very attractive entry point um, for clients. And then, uh, you know, it's kind of to that point that is um, talking to why clients should stay invested. Obviously, it's kind of hard to time the market and kind of what Scroy Financial's thought process is on that front. Well, I'll give you my opinion just from this is pushing my 30th year in the business and we'll be hitting our 50th anniversary in January. So my opinion on all that is generally those that are more prudent prior. It's like anything in life. I mean, before you have anything bad happen, if you were prepared for that, you usually come through it a little bit stronger. So I think a lot of our clients and friends have weathered the storm fairly well because we were very, very prudent about the risk they, they would take for, depending on their age. Because again, I get asked a lot saying, hey, I'm only, I'm 70 years old, I'm 65 years old. You know, I, 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 in my lifetime, I'll never make this back. And I kind of go, I got to go time out and say, I disagree. So stay the course, stay the course. We're probably going to see two steps forward as we get some good news and as we start to get closer and closer to getting out of our house. One step backwards as we get some earnings reports, right? Mm -hmm. What do you think then? And you get earnings reports, you get unemployment reports. There's going to be some hiccups for sure along the way. The odds of the third quarter not being higher than we are today, I think, are very slim. And that's what the message. We're just trying to reassure you, reassure our clients, reassure our friends that at this point in time would not be the prudent time to do anything dramatic. Yeah, and, and also to that point, you know, if, if you did want to get out of the market, say it's, it's way too scary for you right now, um, you still have to time the market perfectly on when to get back in. Um, so power to you if you did get out of the market at the all-time high on February 19th and then jump back in on March 23rd, power to you to do that. Um, but I would say for the 99.9% .9 of investors out there um, who probably didn't do that, it's just better to stay the course. You know, there's, there's a lot of data that says it's just better to stay invested instead of trying to time the market um, because in reality, the market is, is smarter than 100% of investors. As always, I thank you, Vinny. Um, from Vinny, myself, our team here at Scry Financial, we wish you all, we want you all to stay safe, stay healthy. If we can do anything for you, please call us at 674-6700.